Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day today. I got to play with doggos all day. My day was great. Um, <clears throat> do a little video here. Uh, basically, these are going to be six cents. If you can only get one cent for the year, let's say you're a young man, young woman even. You can wear these, I don't care. But generally, these are masculine fragrances or marketed masculine. So we'll say young man, you know, high school, college, just out of them too. You don't have a lot of you know, disposable income, you know, you can't get five, six, seven hundred fragrances, not that I have a whole shit ton of disposable income, I'm just been collecting forever and manage my money rather well, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's get right into it, so these are basically, you can only get one or two cents of the year to last you all year, what are you going to wear? Now, you're going to notice a theme, and the theme is most of these are going to be what most people would consider summer scents. Uh, the reason for that is, while I don't generally subscribe to the seasonal fragrances, I know what's behind it, I know why, and all that stuff, I get it. The only season I think it really matters in, quite honestly, is pretty much summer. <clears throat> late, late spring, early fall, summer mostly. And the reason for that is is you're not doing a whole shit ton of stuff outside in the winter. I'm Canadian. Now, maybe your winters are different, but our winters, we spend probably 80% of it. Probably more, actually. Probably closer to 90% of it. Not including going to work and going to get, like, groceries. You know, basic shit. We spend about 90% of our free time inside. Because when I say it's winter, uh, some of you may not realize what I mean by that. I'm not talking it's a little cold, maybe a little snowfall. I'm talking minus 37 with a wind chill of minus 42 with three feet of snow and a sheet of ice over it. That's my winners. <laughs> and they last for months. They start generally <clears throat> November and don't end till April. So then it gets real hot around June. Like It, it warms up pretty damn good. But uh, yeah, so... Out here when we do outdoor, we do do outdoor activities, of course. We're Canadian. Uh, you know, we do like, you know, snowshoeing, hockey. Skiing, hockey. Skating, hockey. Ice fishing, hockey. Um, did I say sledding? Not. Sledding, hockey, etc. So we do do a lot. Uh, but you're generally not worried about your fragrance when, like I said, when it's minus 30 out, you're worried about making sure your skin don't freeze. So, and when you're wearing a fragrance in the wintertime, it doesn't matter if it's for summer because, first off, generally summer scents work pretty good in the winter anyway. <clears throat> they give you that fresh cold, especially the crispness you can get from them. But also, like I said, 80, 90% you're inside. Climate controlled environments. I mean, yes, we have that up here in Canada. I know a lot of you think we live in igloos and hunt whales with sharp sticks, but we don't. We we've got we've got electricity. We got indoor plumbing. That was nice when it came in two thousand seven. Mm, that was really good. Uh, that was that was nice. You know, we could go, you know, go to the bathroom at two in the morning, not have to go outside. You know, no, <laughs> seriously though, we, <laughs> you know. Uh, we do have harsh winters, most of Canada, not all of Canada, of course not. Usually the West Coast, especially the lower southern West Coast, is pretty pretty t timid, pretty mild in the summer, or in the winter. But not here where I'm at, and another 90% of the country, it's pretty brutal. <laughs> and we're not even the worst. You start getting into, like, northern Ontario and shit like that. Man, God. Yukon, Northwest Territories, Nunavut. Ugh. Up in the Canadian Shield. Oh, God, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even live there. I don't know what people think. But anyway, so yeah, you're going to notice that theme that these are all what most people consider fresh or summer scents. But that's just because they work in the winter and we spend most of our time in the winter or inside in the winter. So why not? Um, so that, like I said, it's just for the person who only get one or two cents. You know, young man starting out and you want to get a scent you can wear all year round, smell good, you know, get compliments. These will do it. Um, so let's start out with Azaro Wanted. Uh, you can substitute any, you can substitute Invictus or any Invictus-like fragrance for this one if you want. I just kind of like this one the best out of most Invictus. I go off and I go 
one way or the other of it a lot of times, but as right now, it's it's pretty good for an Invictus style scent. Uh, a little more musky woody than Invictus, not quite as aquatic, uh, but still that sweet fruitiness, almost a pineapple-like vibe off the top. So pretty nice. And these aren't going to be reels. This will be a quick little video, or not quick video, quick little talk about it. Nautica Voyage. Cheap, sweet, aquatic, clean, a little salty. Compliment getter. You can say what you want about it, but it works. Um, you're also going to notice there's no daring sense on this. There's no oud sense and no niche and no indie and no super expensive designers well i shouldn't say that a couple of them are a little expensive but you know what i'm trying to say you can walk into any either walmart shoppers uh jc penny any big department store and pick these up really um so i forgot to say at the start but that's too is important because as a young man with no money you probably don't have a credit card and if you do you can't really afford to spend three hundred dollars on you know, something, you get something for a hundred bucks, so, at most, 200 at most, um, one million lucky, uh, again, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I gotta give the devil its due, you know, it, it, it smells fresh, it smells nice, it smells, all the stuff that people like, you know, not, I guess I'm just not a fan of it, and I hate the sprayer on these, yeah, it, it's, it's okay, you know, it is what it is. For me, it's not anything I gravitate to, but a lot of people will, and I can see that. Yeah, whatever, though. Uh, why I said why, the original EDT or the new EDT is, is perfectly fine. Sweet apple, somewhat aquatic, a little spicy. It's great. It really is. I really like the original EDT the best. I'm in the minority there, I know, but I do. I just really like it. Try not to use too much of it because it has been discontinued, so you know what that means. I don't know if it's gone up in price yet or not, but it will. Yeah, it's, there's nothing really musky, sweet apple kind of deal. A little, little hint of pepper. Nothing, it's not spicy, just gives it a little, little, little tiny kick, but maybe not pepper, maybe coriander or cardamom, but something, you know, giving it a little bit of spice. It's not bad. It's not bad. It, it, I actually really like the original EDT. Um, yeah, it's too bad that Lucky is just not... There's aspects of it I like, but... Go with one that you might surprise you, but White Musk from the Body Shop. I mean, clean, soapy, fresh, light. Perfect for them real hot summer days, and you just want to relaxing scent the pleasing scent that people like you know, said it smells soapy honestly it smells ivory soapy you know so it's clean last but not least of course savage uh you can include dylan blue if you want here you could substitute uh buddha chanel you could substitute you can even substitute y if you want uh but a fresh citrus ambroxan pepper bomb I mean, it is what it is. You can hate on it all you want, but... And you could also substitute any of the other Sauvages except for the Elixir in this. The Parfum would be nice. I love the... Or the Eau de Parfum. I love the Eau de Parfum even better than this, but... I, I still like Sauvage. I don't I don't know why so many of you are hating on it. It's not a bad scent at all. That Dior sprayer is just... That pressurized atomizer, it's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it's, again, fresh, clean, uh, but not in a soapy vibe, maybe a shower jelly vibe, I guess you could say, but not like fire soap. And uh, a compliment, it's been a compliment king for, what, 10 years now, if not more. Number one selling fragrance in the world think if not it was for a long time might have been overtaken by another savage but yeah
I mean, what more can't? So yeah, guys, that's it. That's six pretty simple, kind of crowd pleasing, readily available scents that you can get if you're just starting out and you want a scent. You know, you're not even looking to collect. You just want a scent to wear. Well, one or two of them, and you'll be set for a solid year or two, easy. And then you can change it up if you want later or just continue going with it. Because men don't change their scents a lot. Let's remember that, too. So, all right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.